my channel. This is uh, Tommy T. I'm doing work for a regular customer. I got an emergency call, and of course, I had to take the, uh, the the power unit off. I would like to show you how I do that, but I'm only one guy. I don't have a camera. I only got the cell phone with me, so I had to take the power unit off. Disconnected all the power. That's the most important thing. Always. I mean, they had a switch there to shut the power off, but I like to shut the breaker off because somebody might come along and flip that switch. Uh, you know after I've worked on this so it's always better to just sh you know shut the breaker off on the other side of the shop This way there's no power so that had to be removed and then you know what happened with this lift the uh, the mechanics Told me that this side got stuck So what happens is this side and this side will come down and if this stays locked these posts can actually split apart with a vehicle on them. So luckily the mechanic noticed that this one was actually bent. I'll show you. I, I can't even really see because the sunlight's in my eyes. I hope I get this. But this, this here, this is what they call a safety lock mechanism. In other words, when this cable snaps, this lock clicks in and prevents the lift from dropping. Now what happens is sometimes these get bent and this is bent at about a 45 degree angle and they should be sticking out towards me a little more. I'll show you another one. Show you the example on the good side. And you can see, I don't know if you can, but you can see how this is all flat, how this row, how this this piece is coming out towards me at about a 45 degree angle. And uh, like I said, this is there's nothing wrong with this side obviously, but when you come over here, I don't even know how this got bent to be honest with you guys. Uh, it could be a mechanic, uh, but you can see this is, it's really hard to tell. It's usually, I can't even see with this thing, but it's usually bent right around here, and it's actually straight up. So that will cause the uh, lift to uh, go into locking mode on this side. So what I gotta do is I gotta remove this. I already took this off. I was hoping that I didn't have to take the power unit off, but you know, with the power unit and lifting the column up, it's, it's probably twice as heavy. The column, will, probably weighs about 80 pounds which is no weight really but with that you're looking at about 150 pounds to lift this straight up and over so you're better off just taking the power unit off it's only about uh, you know a half hour well 15 20 minute uh, removal and uh, it's only two wires 220 and uh, then you pick this uh, you pick this column up and you pull it and rest it over here now the only thing I think I'm gonna have a problem with this is all rigid I may have to uh, either cut this line or disconnect it here, which I'll probably wind up doing. I'll just disconnect it and leave the power line just sagging. Then the column will come off. And I don't know if I'm going to have to remove those those bolts up there. I mean, the nuts for the cable. I got a lot of slack in there, so I'm hoping I can just lift this up. And because these are a bitch when they're all out in the uh, the elements, you know. Usually I have to use a torch to heat those up to remove them. So this is a four-post rotary lift, 12,000 pound capacity. And uh, that's really about it, guys. And then he's got another lift on the other side of the shop there, uh, which I have to repair tomorrow or Friday. It's got a leak. So there's some good money to be made here. And uh, this guy's coming up for inspection next month. So uh, so everything looks, uh, you know, like I said, I only work part-time, but for my regular customers, I'm at their beck and call. I do not let my regular customers go for anything. So let me remove this column, and I'll show you the uh, the bent part so I'm gonna put this on standby and hope it hope it stays on standby if not there'll be a part two to this video standby guys okay back uh, back to this uh, second part as you can see you see where it's bent this should be straight right here it's bent at a, about a 45 degree angle and this should be going basically like this instead of coming instead of coming up so once I remove this I gotta take this pin out Got to take this pin out, and what's a pain in the ass? These springs are a pain in the ass to remove, and well, actually not to remove, but to put back. They are a bitch, and not counting these, these are a bitch too. They don't give you any room to uh, to work in. And sorry if the uh, if the camera angle's not the best for your liking. I'm just trying to do the the best I can. Well, but what happens? You take this pin off. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it all the way out. I'm just going to take it to the point where I could remove this. So I'll go this way, and uh, yeah, you even got a broken spring in there, or it came off. So I'll have to re redo that. 
get some springs and get this piece I just gotta hope that it's in stock if not I order it okay so that's uh that's about it column is off and luckily I had enough uh, enough slack in here to take this off because like I said these could be a real bitch I'm just gonna leave the electrical hanging like this because it's uh it's a rigid uh, rigid piece of pipe so that's okay and power is off I'll just I'll just cap those off just in case and uh, that's really about it for now this is Tommy T in Duarte doing some work for a regular customer okay guys take care